What up, it's Melvin7 here, and my god, it actually feels so nice to say that. Um, <laughs> right, so, yeah, long hiatus uh, away. I think I've only done one FIFA 19 video, and that was how to tell uh, if there was a walkout. Um, and yeah, FIFA 20 has been barren thus far, but I thought, you know what, screw it. Uh, I've just got a new job a few months ago, and yeah, I've had a little bit of cash. So I thought, yeah, I want to get back into it. Uh, my old Elgato broke. So I got myself a new one, the HD uh, 60 S Plus. But anyway, you're not here for that. You're here for these division rivals and foot champions. This will also be a club tour. And I will also show the packs that I opened yesterday, the League One Team of the Season Guaranteed and the MLS Latin America Team of the Season Guaranteed. Um, and then I'll do a club tour, so, you know, keep you up to date with what I've been doing throughout FIFA 20, because I've still been playing it a lot. And yeah, I know the Division Rivals rewards are absolutely shambolic. That's because I'm in Division 8, because, yeah, I do like doing the objectives, and if, you know, I was to do that any higher then I'd get a lot more losses than my record currently has. But anyway, foot champions, we only got silver one. Um, I'm not a very good FIFA player. I'm bang average. I get silver one or gold three on foot champions. Um, yeah, I had a couple of DCs last week, but I'm not making excuses. I'm not much better than silver one. You know, as I say, all through team of the season, I've either had silver one or gold three. So yeah, I suppose this is a more realistic... Um, spectrum of players because there's a lot more gold three than there are elite but obviously on YouTube most of what you see is elite or top 100 because they get the best rewards anyhow let's see what we can get we're not guaranteed to get a league one player but it would be nice best red card I think I've had of any of these is Kovacic um, from the Premier League one other than that maybe Visca but other than that they, they just haven't been usable I've just took the highest rated so anyhow See if we can get any luck. Well, we did get a League One player, but Andre, mm, he's not really that good, but I still might take him. This Rossi card does look good. He does look good. You know, the agility, the balance, the stamina is on point. All of his shooting stats are good. Great pace. It's just linking him, isn't it? it it's, it's so hard to link, and that's why EA give them this sort of card, because it, it's so difficult to link. He's probably nothing on the market, same with Andre, to be fair. But Andre's a little bit easier to link. Mm, I, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Uh, what's his weak foot? You know what, I'm going to take Andre because it means I've got a player who's got three star weak foot, three star skill moves, so I can do the uh, Idrissa Gay um, objective a bit easier. And then let's open these packs. Not expecting to get anything. They're not great packs, obviously. Um, may as well just do them in order i'll do the mega pack last but yeah um yeah i think i'm gonna do like it, it's essentially a road to glory but i'm probably gonna call it a let's play uh because that title isn't used very much that's very old school um uh, not to my knowledge anyway someone on fifa might use a let's play um but yeah m most of the uh, content creators i know use road to glory so you know that's obviously a saturated title so if i use something slightly different that's practically the same thing you know hopefully it's easier to differentiate and get it higher up those uh youtube listings but anyhow so yeah it's it's probably just going to be a bog standard thing if you've got any suggestions let me know but yeah i just wanted to, i just want to record as though i'm actually doing FIFA, like the way I would play FIFA and not make uh, videos per se like I used to back in the day, like squad builders, etc. Like they're kind of outdated now um, purely because of all the objectives you can do. Um, you, you can build a mad objective team, you can obviously do the league SBCs, uh, do you know bronze packs to get a lot of coins. Like, you know, it, it, one thing you have done is give you a, a plethora of players to choose from. And these, I didn't even get a board, man. I did, like, wow. Uh, I expected at least a board. Like, come on. I know it's not the greatest rewards, but yeah. Uh, but as I say, EA have gave you a plethora of usable players. It's just hard linking them with chemistry. So, um, yeah. Uh, might as well show you my League One guarantees now and then we'll get on to the club tour.
Right, so these upgrade packs, let's see what we can get. Uh, trading in this Pookie, he's a club legend. I know he's only played 214 games, but he was the first player I got to over 100 games, I think. So, uh, yeah, the first player of the month for the Premier League. This Matteo, yeah, I, I did the objective. I've practically done them all. You'll have already seen the, the club tour anyway, so I'm just going to trade that in. And this is for the MLS or the Latin America, I think. Yep. Um, I was kind of gutted last week, uh, the Eredivisie and the Russian League, no, Chinese League, were mixed. Uh, uh, why? Come on, man, you, like, you already shaft your uh, user base enough. Uh, for this one, I've got to level 30 in every single season, and yeah, I'm never going to use this Pedro. He's way behind the power curve, as Nepenthes would say. Uh, it's true, though. Uh, this Aussie men... Again, loved playing with them when I got them, um, and it was an enjoyable objective to actually get the Star Academies, uh, the one where you got like four of the same version. And then Sabitza, much of the same. There's just, there's too many cards of the similar ilk, and again, I'd prefer to put it in for a, you know, half a percent chance of getting something better, uh, which we know won't probably happen, but hey ho. Let's give it a go. And so all you can do is hope. Um, I've got a, a, a screen actually where I can show you a little database that I created. So yeah, as you can see on this uh, Excel spreadsheet, these are the guarantees that I've done in the past and this is what I got. Um, obviously, <laughs> I wasn't recording unfortunately for any of this because I didn't have an Elgato. So yeah, I've had two big wins in Vardy and Giovinco, but other than that, it's, I mean, it's either a very slight profit or a loss. So. You know, like the Bundesliga was the worst. Like Serdar, actually, no, it wasn't a Liga, it was, it was that left back, but Barashi. I don't know how you say it. But anyway, the important thing, let's get back onto this and open up these packs. <sighs> Come on then. Latin or MLS, who am I looking for? I'd like Martinez. Um, <sighs> there's a few other ones that look good, of course. So let's see. Colombian. CDM, I think that's an L, isn't it? Yeah, that's an L. Mm, his stats aren't too bad, I suppose, as a CDM, but I've already got the uh, Ajax CDM off the top of my head, I forgot. Martinez, yeah. So, medium, medium. Ah, I mean, stat-wise, he's not too bad, but I guarantee he goes for about 30k. Yeah, 40k, so... Uh, it's probably no. Nah, you can't even call it a small dub, really, can you? That's that's shite. <laughs> to be fair, right? Come on, League One team of the season. We all know who we want: Ben Yedder, Mbappe, Neymar, Di Maria. Other than that, not really fussed about anyone else. So it's French centre mid. Oh, well, that is, isn't it? Okay, that's not bad. Yo, I'll take that. That that's that's a dub. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's definitely a dub. Alwa, what is he, like 400k these days? That's probably the other one I would have taken. So, okay, he's a lot cheaper now. 200k, but still, yeah, phenomenal card. Absolutely brilliant. I'll have to fit him into the team somehow. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad. I have no idea what reds I've had, but you will. Right, so, the club tour. Here we go. So, we'll start with the objectives, I think. As you can see, season six, I am level 30. Every single season, I've got to level 30, purely because I like doing objectives. I don't think the players are very worthwhile, other than Fred and Zaha from the very first season. Fred was season five. I haven't used them very often, uh, the cards that I get. Maybe a kanji a little bit. Uh, I can't remember what season that was, three or four. But yeah, I've already traded in the Pedro for the League One SBC, as you saw. But yeah, I haven't um, done much for the guy yet because I haven't had the players to do it. Is it gay? Is it guy? It's probably gay, isn't it? Idris is gay. Um, same with Golovin. Haven't had the chance to do them, but I will. I will get them done. I haven't even looked at this uh, Fenzilida. Fenzilida? Chilean. Uh, who's he play for? My God. I do not know. That's... <sighs> Anyhow, doesn't really matter, does it? Uh... Yeah, that one can be done on battles as well, if needs be. Using carnival players. Uh, okay, just one, I presume. Uh, 
Oh wait. Um, and then all of this, I'm I'm just not going to bother with because I'm a level thirty, obviously. So I'm I'm just waiting for the new season on Friday. Wait, do these expire tomorrow? They must do. If it, oh crap. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to hurry up and get them done then. Um, right, milestones. I have actually done every single one. I might be the only player on FIFA to have actually done all of the uh, players. And what's ironic is I've traded every single one of them in because they no longer cut the mustard. So yeah, the only things I haven't done, uh, I need 55 more squad battles wins for the ultimate pack. Foot champions, because I barely played it up until, you know, first couple of months I played it, then didn't play it again until foot champs, uh, foot champs, until team of the season. So yeah, we need another 36 wins for the ultimate pack, which for me is probably three weeks. For most people, that's like a week and a bit. But anyhow, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with the milestones in terms of what I've done. Obviously, EA have done jackal with them, as many content creators have alluded to. Obviously, foundations are done. Um, so now we'll go on to the worst part of the account, which is my draft record. It's probably the worst record on FIFA. In fairness, I do leave a lot of the drafts, um, especially when they're just not very good, and then you know quit in the first round. But as you can see, I've only ever won two out of 94 <laughs> entries a 1 in 47 ratio is beyond abysmal uh, 72 wins 91 losses <laughs> oh my days that is absolutely terrible um, as you can see I yeah I average a lot of, you know a decent amount of goals scored but it's just I cannot defend that's me in, as a FIFA player in a nutshell. I, it doesn't matter who I've got in defence. I could have 99 Van Dijk, um, the Militao, the Ramos, the whoever. And I'll still concede like an average of 2.64 goals per game. I'm just not very good at defending, but I'm all right going forward. Highest drafts, 192. I can probably better that now easily. Um, yeah, I haven't touched that in a couple of weeks, actually, which is a bit dumb because it's team of the season. Um, division rivals, as I say... I'm in Division 8, I think, but I have purposely relegated myself because even Division 6, 7 is quite hard now because there's people from Division 3, 4 and 5 that have relegated themselves to do objectives or whatnot, which is fair enough, but yeah. At one stage, I was Division 4, I think that's the highest I've been, 4 or 5. Um, again, I'm a bog-standard FIFA player. I don't claim to be anything more than that. And then Concept Squad, this isn't obviously my main team. This is um, what I was doing for the Idris Agay thing. <laughs> and my God, it was terrible because as you can see, I've just, I've traded in all my good SBC cards and cards I've had in my club for other SBCs, which is exactly what EA want you to do, of course. So my main team, it changes a lot, but this is the general gist, I think. It's not too bad. Um, all of it is untradeable, of course. Um, sometimes I go with a narrow formation and I kind of change it up. Um, I quite like this Jimenez card. Uh, I think he's a bit underrated. You know, a decent decent amount of games played for what... Uh, that was the Premier League objective, wasn't it? Uh, Vardy, uh, he's the best player I've got in a league team of the season pack. Um, up until, well, today. Well, no, actually, Vardy still would have been best. Uh, Arwa would have been second, I think. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Uh, he's got about the same sort of goals and games as Jimenez which is interesting this Bruno Fernandes which was the most overpriced SBC I think he have ever done but well actually saying that the Lucas Moura one gives it a run for his mother for their money but my god it's a phenomenal card I've played them all over I've played them as a centre mid as a cam as a striker as a um, right sided cam left sided cam so you know his goals and games are pretty good for me anyway you know if I was a top 100 player that would be terrible but I'm not silver one or gold three so yeah 400 games played with Bruno I was very very happy when he got his player of the month um, and I can't wait for uh, him to rip things up with Pog Pogba and Fred or McTominay in midfield when we're back on June 18th I think is when we play I know it's back on the 17th but anyhow regardless this Dan James card of course the future stars I did every single one of the future stars I did the Zanolo I did the Osman and the Daniel James, I think that was it. Um, but yeah, James is the only one that I've still got. Did the Hazard, kind of regretted doing the Hazard. Um, he cost a lot of coins. And he's not a bad card, but 
he just didn't fit in my team for ages. Like I, I just kept bringing him off on, on uh, from the bench, which is why his goals and games are absolutely terrible. Got Ramos in right back. I packed him from the juiced uh, La Liga pick. You know, the one where the, there was only one available, but nearly everyone seemed to get a team of the season from it. Um, yeah, I got Ramos, which is the best team of the season card I've got on tradable. It just wasn't from a guaranteed um, pack. It's Edda Militao, which I recently did. Um, yeah, he's a pretty good card. As soon as I did that, they released Lucas Mora. And yeah, I, I, although he's ridiculously overpriced, I would like Mora. Um, I think he'd fit the team very well. And obviously, there's a lot of Brazilian players. Um, this Jao Pedro is fantastic. It'd be nice to link him up. Um, I used this Fred for a lot. Uh, as I say, you know, he was last season's thing. And yeah, I've played 322 games with him. He's phenomenal. Uh, Kovacic, again, pretty good. I obviously play him as a DM. Balak, he's the only icon I think I've packed this season uh, that wasn't from icon swaps or uh, a guaranteed icon pack. I got him in a Foot Rivals untradeable pack, I think, uh, ages ago. So, yeah, I've played over half a century of games with him. Slabhead Maguire, obviously, had to do that as soon as he came out in the Premier League SBC. You know, I spent way too much on him, but, you know, he's a United player. I've literally done every single United special card that I can. Obviously, I don't have Rashford, Pogba or Greenwood because they're tradable. And I'd piss away all my coins in... <laughs> in uh, upgrade packs, hoping to get cards that I never do. But yeah, Juan Basaka, I got him in a, a two-player upgrade pack, I think. Um, yeah, so that was, no, I think it was one of the 81 plus Premier League packs. One of them anyway, I, I got Juan Basaka, I was very, very happy. I was gutted, I didn't get Rashford. I really wanted team of the season Rashford as a red or as a blue, but I haven't got him and I doubt he'll be in the ultimate team of the season, so. Yeah, I'll probably have to buy him. I did the regular on, obviously, the Marcus Alonso. Um, got Van der Sar from Icon Swaps, I think. Played a lot of games with him. Giovinco from the guaranteed Saudi League uh, SBC. I did pack an untradable Messi, but at the time I packed him, he was already slipping behind the power curve. I know I quote Nepentes a lot. He's my favorite fifa content creator anyhow uh yeah behind the power curve uh so he ended up getting benched a lot when i packed him which is unfortunate I did this vitzel unbelievable card would really love to get him in the team but i i just i can't accommodate him i just can't which is the same with a lot of these cards mainly use vinicius for objectives uh martinez again only just got so barely played i showed you joe pedro rooney one of the more valuable SBCs, I think, what was he, 200k? And when he came out, he was he was top tier. He was way better than anything on the market at the time of his release. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you the rest that's in my club. There's not too much else. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that I didn't keep all of the cards that I've earned. Uh, I can show you um, through you know concepts what cards i did have in the past um i should really get rid of these loans i i just keep them if i want to play like a, a friendly match like you know just to play them but uh, i'm never going to use them uh Asabi, he's just going to be sbc fodder he's what i got from the syria guarantee um daily blind from foot champions obviously uh not not amazing really um, in Didi, this card's really, really good. I've used him quite a lot. Obviously, he was the Premier League objective player, I think. Um, more loans, which I should really get rid of. To hear the Footmas one, I, this is why I didn't want to do the player moments that came out, because I already had a special untradable De Gea. Um So, yeah, that's the only untradable card that's Manchester United that I haven't done, um, because it's the same player anyway. You know, he's still got a special card. Um, this Artusta, which is who I got in the Latin pack yesterday. My God, I completely forgot who I got. And I only opened the pack yesterday. It was that bad. Drogba from Icon Swaps. All 24 tokens. Club legend for me uh, in this club. Definitely one goal of 500. I'm going to have to get him that 500th goal. He was immense. I was so happy back uh, when Icon Swaps 1 came out that I chose him. Because, yeah, a lot of people slept on him because the meta didn't 
you know, include him really, but he was phenomenal for me, as you can see by his record. Um, you've already seen Van der Sar. Uh, I don't think there's much else. Yeah, I did this Raphael, regretted doing the Raphael, but it was nostalgia that drew me to him, which again is what EA pry on, isn't it? Uh, and then this Ferdinand, which I've played the most games in the club, like I have practically every other FIFA. I got him in the baby icon, or the, uh, what, what do they call them? The first, what are they actually called? I call them baby, oh, whatever, you know what I mean, the first icon. Um, and yeah, I got him in, in that pack. And yeah, I played 725 games with him, but obviously he's, he's no longer very good in the, in the current game and then yeah i've got rid of everything else so i'll quickly go through uh wait there. i might as well show you who my top scorer is bruno fernandez because he's on the squad obviously it would be drogba but um yeah wait you can't you can't sort oh yeah there we go wait what what's that sorted by i don't know what it's sorting it by oh it's such a light shade that I couldn't tell what it was doing right there we go so games played yeah we've already done that goals yeah okay yeah we've already showed you anyway so we'll, we'll go on to squads and I'll show you the milestones that I have done um or the objectives because I did have them in a squad the only um objective players that I never got are the uh what were they the foot birthday ones the back of Yoko and the something else I just I couldn't be bothered. I uh, fell out of love with FIFA at that period of time, so I think there's two or three objectives I've never done. Um, but yeah, I mean, you already saw I'd done all the my, uh, milestones. I got Rude Hullet in the baby pack from one of the icon swaps, I think, or I don't know, maybe it was another baby pack, whatever. You know, he was there. Um, what are all these? Why have I called this milestones? Some of these aren't milestones, are they? I think some of these are SBCs, but yeah, I did do all of these back in the day. Footmas Rashford, that Diego Costa flashback, Sanchez flashback, La La flashback, I think. Di Maria player of the month, that David Villa, um, end of era, was it? Or, oh, I, I don't know, you know which one it is. The Zayic, was, which was probably the best objective up until team of the season. He was phenomenal. Um, but yeah, obviously he's got a team of the season now, so I got rid of it. Uh, earned FC, here we go, this is some of the old ones that hopefully will still be there um, yeah a lot of them are the milestones which you've already seen but the Taglifico, the Scream Urzel which was mad, the Footmas Gababin uh, the Headliner Plea, My, oh, I'm doing well to remember these like I uh, got rid of them ages ago, Footmas Biola I think, uh, Scream Jeco that Mbabu was absolutely mad. Yeah, the, the Europa League road to the final. I had him for absolutely ages and I partnered him with um, headliner Z Zachary. Is that it? The the Swiss centre-back, Bundesliga. Uh, Futmus Carzola, that Iniesta, which I got rid of quite quick, to be fair. Futmus Mendes um, and then Futmus Russellon, I think. A lot of Futmus cards looking at this. Uh, just couple more squads and then yeah these are all the cards that I've had throughout uh, so that's the exact same as the last one well done in don't know what I was doing for that I think I tried to do a reddit post or something so I tried to get them all in the first team oh that infamous wants to watch end Dumbelli, the first ever objective that you could get during EA access oh that brings back memories everyone thought yes you know he's what a card this is gonna get upgraded so many times Never got upgraded once. Uh, this Morales card, which was piss easy to earn, but yeah, it's not really great. This player moments? Uh, King. I uh, forgot about that one. This Orsage that a lot of people used. Yes, I did do the Kent. I've traded in Kent. It wasn't very good for me, but of course, very memed player that's absolutely unbelievable for every other team um, or every other person that plays Ultimate Team, it would seem. <laughs> nice unintentional rhyme. This uh, Del Piero is what I got from the mid icon pack. Um, I don't know if I crafted that or again if it was icon swaps. I don't know. Uh, headliner Bartra, he was pretty good. Uh, obviously the Politano, which everyone used at one point. The Kanji, the Gibralison. Oh, this Akuna card was class. Shapeshifters. Wow, I forgot uh, what that one was. 
Oh, Odegaard was the other Future Star Academy. I did all four of these. Uh, obviously, I traded in the Osmin for the League One uh, SPC, but I did the others as well. I just like doing objectives. I find them fun. Like during the week, I hate playing rivals if I'm not doing objectives. I, I need to be playing for something. That's the type of player I am. Um, I haven't grinded the menus as much as I possibly should or could. Um, which is why I haven't done as many upgrade packs as I would want. But yeah, go back onto the main team. And yeah, that's practically my club. So bang average FIFA player who loves objectives, probably, is a... Uh, well, you could probably go off that and yeah, is drawn in by nostalgia and, you know, overpriced Manchester United cards or other SBC cards that are hype. <laughs> but isn't that the way with FIFA? So anyhow, that's this video. Um, yeah, let me know what sort of thing you'd want in the future, whether this has been any good. And yeah, I'll probably bring you the gameplay for getting uh, Idris Agay next time and Golovin and whatever the other one was but yeah for now that's it so yeah how the hell do I end my video I cannot remember <laughs> so you know what I'm just gonna end it I'm out peace